of the first victories of modern medicine was discovering insulin and learning to treat the uh, childhood onset, what we used to call childhood onset or type 1 diabetes. That's a type of diabetes where the body doesn't make insulin. When you have a type 1 diabetic who hasn't gotten insulin for a couple of days, their body goes out of control. They make ketones way out of proportion to what the body can use and they go into what's called ketoacidosis and they develop very high levels of ketones in the blood. Whereas when you restrict carbohydrate intake, which keeps insulin low but not zero, those people develop what we call nutritional ketosis, which is only one-tenth as high as ketoacidosis. Most doctors, dietitians, and nurses, when they hear the word ketone, they think disease, they think imbalanced metabolism, and that's why I think the bad name persists in the face of very sound evidence that nutritional ketosis is a controlled metabolic state with many beneficial effects. A very broad interest now in use of ketogenic diets to treat neurological disorders and you know, this has been well very well studied in, in kids with intractable seizures to, to treat epilepsy according to our our friend that uh, the ketogenic diet for treating seizures has really had seen a resurgence and it happens to be very effective especially in in kids who may be uh, uh, non-responsive to drugs so there's something happening in the keto adapted state that changes the fuel, perhaps changes the uh, oxidative stress, the neuroendocrine uh, system is probably adapting in a way we don't really understand all the mechanisms, but it's responding in a positive way that uh, uh, is, is fueling the brain better and, and, and perhaps uh, having a you know, beneficial effect on the pathophysiology of some of these diseases. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click this button here. You can see it on the screen now. That's the like button. Please do that. It helps spread the word and get other people to actually find my videos, which is fantastic. It's a win-win. Also, if you want to comment on my videos, please do so. That's over there, right over there. If you do that, I will actually respond to any questions you might have. And lastly, and probably most importantly, please subscribe. That's right. Click that button right there now. You can do that right now while I'm talking. And you can subscribe to my channel and you'll be updated automatically every time I uh, release a new video, which is often. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another video soon. Cheers for now.